I have grown up listening to people share about their mission experiences and how amazing it was. And so I remember going out on my mission and thinking, when are those experiences going to happen to me? Because it seemed like for a really long time, nothing ever happened. I thought, what am I going to tell my family this week in an email, you know? Okay, I don't have anyone to teach still or different things like that. Um, but one of my favorite stories to share on my mission was of when I had to get up early in the morning and I'd set my alarm for some odd number like 542 and I that night when I was kneeling to pray I told Heavenly Father and it came out of nowhere I've never said this before was please help me wake up on time and I'm a morning person and so waking up at 542 would not have been a big deal to me and it was amazing because my alarm for some reason did not go off that morning but I woke up at exactly uh, 542 and so I didn't realize that that was a that's one of my favorite stories about prayer that I have that God cared enough to one put that thought into my head to pray to wake up on time and that it actually happened that God cared enough to um, get me there on time to where I was going and I didn't realize that this was such a profound spiritual experience for me until like four years later and so the advice that I would give is to be patient when you're waiting for those amazing experiences um, where someone just can't wait you there you got to hold them back from jumping in the baptismal font right you you always think of those kinds of things that don't don't be super frustrated when they don't seem to come right away because one they will come you just have to be patient and two a lot of the experiences you won't realize are spiritual experiences until you're looking back.